Hi! Hi folks! Welcome to another video in the series of why I love Japan. I watch various movies and TV shows Japanese on the internet with English translations and there's always a constant a consistency in many of these video uh, videos and many of these movies that you receive in one after another after another. And one of the constants or consistencies are a running scene. There always seems to be a running scene in the majority of the ones that I watch. Now why that takes place, why they have these running scenes, I have no idea, but I think it's, <laughs> it's in most cases amusing to watch. And the running scenes have nothing to do with somebody jogging or running for exercise. It's usually due to an emergency of some sort. Now, we all know how in Japan, when you enter an apartment or a house, and I've been to the end restaurants, some restaurants, and I've been to the few office, offices where we had to take our shoes off. We all know about that. But in this one movie that I was watching, it was a jail scene. And the guard enters the jail cell, but before he enters, he removes his shoes, which is rather, <laughs> which is rather illustrative of the Japanese culture that they remove their shoes. That jail cell was considered, I guess, the uh, inmate's home. So out of respect, he removed his shoes. Now, <clears throat> on the internet, Facebook, there was this photograph of a child hanging from the... Uh, from the bars on the train and people were commenting on how rude and bad mannered that child was for doing that on the train. Now Japanese standards, yes, that is rude. That does show a lack of manners. But that's not what I saw when I saw that photograph. What I saw was a child maintaining a good part of his training, his cultural upbringing. Because if you look at his feet, there's no shoes. You see, in Japan, they're taught if you're going to stand on a seating receptacle such as a chair or a bench, you take your shoes off. Such as you went to a home, you take your shoes off. You stand on a chair, you take your shoes off. So as unruly as this child was behaving, he still knew to take his shoes off before standing on the seat there. And the, the reason why I noticed this and the was illustrated to me in my mind. The church I attend to on weekends, I usher at the church. And all the time, and I'm saying every weekend, there are parents who allow their children, at the, as this child's age, turn up and down the seats, the pews, with their shoes on. And many times I've had to ask the parent to please stop your child from running up and down these seats because other people in pre uh, later masses have to sit in these seats that your child is running up and down on. But in Japan, you don't have to worry about that because the children are trained well, mannerly, and consistency at an early age to be considerate of others. That's why I love Japan. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be. And God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Nihonkoku, Japan. See ya! <laughs>